The big to do was uh, yesterday, and uh, yesterday being Friday, May 20th, uh, 2016. It's part of the centenary, but the big to do would be the centenary celebration. For what it, it's uh, for the University of Fort Hare, of course, the historic University of Fort Hare. And uh, this is the year, you know, starting in February, it's going to go through to next February. And uh, it's quite a program, a lot of, lot of ooh, people here. You know, we start all this stuff, you know, with blah, 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 opening remarks. Uh, but, oh, the new chancellor, Chancellor Stofile, he's the new chancellor of the whole school, not the vice the new chancellor. We're looking for, we have to look for a new vice chancellor, because Dr. Tom, he's going to be leaving August or end of the year, or whatever, they, whatever's going to happen. Oh, look, the uh, premier of the Eastern Cape, because, you know, the University of Fort Hare is located in the Eastern Cape. He was there. Mm, I like that. So, yeah, all these kind of things. Who else was here? Let's see. Oh, then the, the, one of the, somebody from the National House of Traditional Leaders. Now, you know that's got to be a big thing right there. Mm. Uh, who else was there and, and speaking? Oh, Madam Zuma, the, the, head, the head of the uh, African Union Commission. She's, she's the chairperson. So she was there, she spoke, she was, well, it was quite good. Uh, and of course we had the uh, alumni address, because he is an alumni, uh, uh, Robert Mugabe, Gabriel Robert Mugabe, who's the head of president, the head of uh, Zimbabwe. So he was here, oh, that's good. And then of course uh, the keynote address was from uh, President Zuma. And then we had, you know, Vice, uh, Vice Chancellor, current Vice Chancellor uh, Tom, you know, he's going to be leaving, but, you know, Dr. Tom, so he said some stuff. Then they're done, then, and then they, well, everything happened. You know, we didn't have much of a cultural program because it, uh, you know, they put cultures to the last, and they had the choirs between, which is quite good choirs, by the way. Quite good choirs. Just a second. It's early morning, and I got the, you know, the seasons are changing, and so I got a little allergy from Eastern Cape here. So that happened, and then, uh, oh, look at the menu in the back. Uh, you know, when you get in, they, they, you have to have a blue tag or a pink tag or a green tag. You're a student, you get a green tag. I had a green tag. Anyway, but the blue tag people, look what the blue tag people, they, they had a salad platter, marinated mushroom, salad and potato, and, and with, with, with herb pesto. Well, they had a choice of king clip, lamb curry, ooh, some bottles, and, and a, a roasted chicken. They had sample beans, basmati rice, sweet potato, spinach, steamed vegetables, Hmm. Bean curry served with roti. Wow, that's for the vegetarians. Uh, and for dessert, they have a mini apple crumb with custard, slice, also sliced seasonal fruits. Wow, what a menu! Oh, I was with the green, you know, the students. We were out there. We were in the back of the. See, they ate in the back of the sport. It was two places of sports company. They ate in the back of the sports company. I was out there with the well, because I'm a student in the big tent. The big tent it was chaos getting in, but don't worry about that. So we got in, but we only had samp and beans, and and uh, we had some potato salad, you know, well potato salad, potato dressing on it, and uh, I guess that was sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato tastes pretty sweet, sweet potato, but it looked more like uh, butternut butter, but sweet potato, and a little piece of chicken, like a you know little thigh. This must be little chickens because it was a little thigh, you know. That's what we had, so we wasn't eating with the big 40 toys. But look, uh, let's just let that's one of it goes. It's kind of interesting because um, the, see, the, the issue, I say that the issue we have with University of Fort Hare is that all the people that get put into position, they get into positions, they're like a, they're, they're, they're political appointments. You know, there's no, uh, um, there's no, uh, the academy is not, there's, there's no academicians, there's no, there's, there's, there's uh, it's by, it's by power. So when you, when you have a problem, you solve it by political means, you know. You don't solve it by academic ways or, or, or creative ways or anything like that. Uh, but what's really interesting to me, and I, when I listen to some of the speeches, I guess I got to get a copy and listen to, uh, li listen to them the way they are. But uh, uh, the, the chancellor, as well as, um, as well as uh, Dr. Tom, right, as well as well, uh, President Zuma, uh, they all talked about uh, violence. Don't don't commit violence. Don't destroy properties. You know, the libraries and stuff like that. Um, uh, the, 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 
Dr. Zuma, the head of the AU, she, you know, she, she was pretty cool, you know, she, she had a good address. And Rob Mugabe was Rob Mugabe, you know. So out of those, let's say those five addresses, of those five people speaking, you know, three of them was about, oh, don't do this, don't do that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, but she was talking to the students inside the hall. The people that, that had the beef, they had the, you know, the, they're, they're hungry, they needed food, whatever, they were outside the hall. We never, we, they, they never, you never got to talk to them and they never got to talk to you. So everything remains the same as usual. At least that's my estimation. This is an estimation from, from, from me, T, from the Patterson Statement of Trans Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.